What's up travelers? In this video, we're in the middle of nowhere at a roadside barbecue and steakhouse. So stick around. We are at Ranch House Barbecue and Steakhouse here somewhere in the middle of Olympia and Shelton, Washington. So this place is known for winning all kinds of national championships uh, with their barbecue and their chili. And I am so excited to be here to try their food. A few videos ago we went to another place here well, over in Olympia and I said is that the the best barbecue in Washington. Well, they got a, a competitor that's fairly close to them, so let's check it out. This is Tasting Travel, welcome to the show. My name is Anthony Harding, and at the time of recording this video, we are currently at 2,062 subscribers, and we are on a mission to get to 5,000, so if you're interested in helping us out, hit that subscribe button below. Like it if you enjoy the video, and let's get into it. Well, it's a good sign this place is busy. So that means that it's busy in the middle of nowhere, and that means they got some amazing food. I can't wait till we get it. So I ordered a sample platter, so it's going to have chicken and pork tips and pulled pork and brisket. And then I also ordered some chili and some baked beans. And oh man, it's going to be such a good barbecue dinner. I am so excited. All right, would you look at this plate of food? Oh my God, it looks so delicious. Oh, I am, I am so, so excited for this. So, I think we gotta start with these barbecue ribs right here. I mean, oh, look at that. That is just beautiful. That bone just pulled right out of that, like, just didn't even, didn't even have any struggle whatsoever. Yeah, that has an amazing smokiness. The sauce, it's not too sweet, it's not too spicy, it's, it's just the perfect, perfect flavor for a barbecue sauce. 
Oh, it's too bad KFC got it because this is finger licking good. <laughs> One word, delectable. Mm. Just from the first couple bites of this rib, I'd say you definitely got to come here. This place is fantastic. We need to move on and try something else out here. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to. Oh man, these ribs are amazing. All right, so we got honey and we've got barbecue sauce here on the table. So looks like they might have a couple different barbecue sauces. So we're just gonna try this one here. Okay, that's a a tangy, a tangy barbecue sauce. I almost would say that it's kind of a soy-based barbecue sauce. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, it's it's got a very interesting flavor to it. But again, I don't know for sure. And then we got this one. Might be ketchup. I don't know. Mm. Might be hot sauce. Who knows? <laughs> I'm not sure what that was, <laughs> to be honest. It was uh, it was red, but it didn't taste like ketchup. It didn't taste like hot sauce. I'm not even sure what it is. One thing I do know, <laughs> this rib is amazing. Oh, man. So sad to see it go. So let's try these baked beans. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, these are a pretty good baked bean. I've always said that really, when you go to a barbecue place, the way to, to really, really judge a barbecue restaurant is their baked beans. These are these are a, a pretty damn good baked bean. I wouldn't say they're the best, um, but they're definitely highly edible. And they're sweet, they're smoky, they're tangy. Um, I think the sweetness probably comes from brown sugar. Um, I'm not really sure what all else is in there, but honestly, it's this chili that we're really waiting for. But we're gonna wait on that for a little bit longer. So let's let's get into this piece of chicken here. I bet I bet this piece of chicken is gonna be great. Mm. So, at first bite, I wasn't very impressed, but then as the flavors of the smokiness of the chicken, the actual meat itself hit, I was like, wow, that is what I was looking for out of this piece of chicken. And again, it's cooked so well, that bone just comes right out of the meat, just clean. The sauce, it doesn't really go perfectly with this chicken. The way they cooked it with that smoke, it really, really makes it a rock star. That bird did not die in vain, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Right. Do you ever just see a piece of chicken just rip apart like that? No, you don't. It just doesn't happen. But it happened here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now let's try it with this barbecue sauce here. Okay. Yeah, now that barbecue sauce was made for this chicken. Oh yeah. That chicken 
It was pretty amazing. It's definitely not the reason to come here. I think that with those pork ribs by far outshine this chicken, but oh my, this stuff is good. Now that that is gone, <laughs> let me wipe off the hands real quick. Let's get into the cornbread. Came with a little bit of butter here, of course. So it's good. Let's pop it like that and then see how it goes. Okay, it's not a sweet cornbread. Um, kind of surprises me, but it's a good cornbread. Uh, it, it's, as far as cornbread that's not that sweet goes, it's pretty good. I prefer sweet cornbread personally, but you know, some people would probably really enjoy this one. Got some brisket here. I already got a little bit of that barbecue sauce on it, so. Oh. That is tender, smoky. Um, really kind of flaky. Um, it's. I don't know. It doesn't really hit the mark. It's kind of more like a a roast beef, honestly. Um, and it's okay, but it's not what I think of when I think of barbecue brisket. So let's check out this pulled pork. Same thing, it's just uh, doesn't have a lot of added flavor to it. It just tastes like something that, you know, it's been kind of slow cooked, but like they didn't really add much to it. That's unfortunate because this had potential to be an amazing, amazing thing. I mean, it's definitely edible. It's definitely worth the price, but uh, we still have this bowl of chili, and this, this chili has won numerous national championships, so I have high hopes for it, and hopefully it lives up to it. That is a pretty good chili. Um, it's got beans in it for those those chili with bean haters out there. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a good chili. This is a chili that you might want to order extra and take home with you. This is a really good chili. It's got cheese and onions and beans and. Bunch of other stuff. It's got a nice amount of mushiness, crunchiness. The the flavor of the meat shines through. The tomatoes are really nice. I can see why it's won championships. This was worth driving out here. The chili alone worth driving out here. The ribs, those were absolutely amazing. All right, well, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. Again, we are on our way to 5,000 subscribers, so if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. Help us get to that goal, and as always, eat great food. <laughs>